Hello everyone, welcome to Fiji Investment Trading. My name is Mr. Singh and today I'm going to talk about NIO, ticker symbol NIO, NIO. We are on fire right now. We are 9.36% for the day, $3.62 from the previous close. Great, great. We always, we are making a really uptrend. That's that's what I'm talking about and that's what we've been waiting for. So the, remember the party just started yet. So just stay tuned. I'm going to talk more on the technical side. Uh, just a quick update, I'm giving away a new water bottle and a new shirt for free to all the new subscribers and the current subscribers. Leave a comment and all the um, that you have subscribed. In the description you have the uh, information where you can get this water bottle and the new stuff. Uh, yeah, I'm here to give the free stuff away to my new team. So we want to go, we want to see this stock over 150 in in less than two years right that's our goal that's my goal uh, so let's just wanted to share these two things for you guys for all the new subscribers uh, yep uh, let's go so right now we have about 20 seconds left for the market to close we have forty two dollars and twenty seven cents so definitely we'll be closing in green today um, it's gonna move remove it quickly uh, co uh, let's go back on technical side so on the technical side we talked about it um where are we looking next and in our previous video we were, i will mention that we have to trade above that pink line i'm going to remove it right here so you guys can see it right below right here uh, that's the 200 day moving average and the greenish color uh, it is a 60 day moving average and the blue it was the 20 day mo moving average we were trading below the 20 uh the moving average and right, we were testing the 60 day and the 120 day 200 day moving average which we broke out perfectly fine. And in the previous video, I did mention that we were keeping, we're gonna keep an eye closely at that forty dollar level, right? And sure or not, we broke out of it. When we're holding strong, the next key level we need to keep an eye is right up here, forty three dollars and fifteen cents is the next huge test. That once we had it and we got rejected when we came all the way down to thirty dollars from up to here when we came down uh, tested the law of thirty dollars and seventy seventy one cents once so forty three dollars and fifteen cents is a key level once we break out and then then the huge huge um, the resistance we're looking at around at forty six dollars and sixty eight cents once this breaks out and I expect it to come back to forty four level and then make it way up right I can expect it to do that. So go to 46, come back, retest it 44, and then shoot up back again to the highs of 50. But before that, uh, we need to make, we have to break that 46.68 in order to have a complete bull pattern right now. Yes, it is a bull pattern right now. We have increased from $30 all the way to higher $42 and uh, 28 cents. But it's not over yet. I just don't hope. I don't want people to have a false hope right now, saying that okay, we are going all the way to 50 or 60. I love to see it. I know it's going to happen. But there's each level of resistance. Then we need to keep an eye on the chart. So that's why I am, you know, it has acted in the previous re resistance right here, which we broke out, and now we're gonna we are gonna test this, the two massive resistance that I'm looking at. That is the 46, 43. Uh, 4320 and then the 4620 right so once we break out remember there's nothing after that right there's nothing stopping us to go all the way to highs of 51 52 dollars and going back to 60s RSI is looked over overboard right now MACD looks solid rock solid we have a good volume today uh, still below 100 million uh, I'm expecting to over like 120 million in order to have a more price movement. Remember, price predicts movement. So if the right, uh, sorry, volume predicts price. So when the volume is high, then the prices get predicted where this the stock is moving, into what direction, um, and where we're heading on that. So you know we definitely knew that Neo's sales was not a up to par. Uh, we were company delivered over 6,700 vehicles for the quarter for the May delivery. It is quite a less. We decreased by 5.5%. We knew there was a little bit of ship shortage and stuff. But 
they already mentioned on the Q1 that there were guidance delivery related from 21,000 to 22,000 22, vehicles on Q2. So, so far, NIO has delivered 109,514 vehicles, right? That's a huge, huge amount of vehicles they have right now. Uh, but their goal is to 1 million. You know, once the uh, the plant has been made, uh, it's made, it's made, it's ready to go in China, then we definitely can see in that. And also today, we had from Citibank, Citigroup, analysis, Jeff Chang, upgraded NEO from buy to hold and raise the price target of $58.30, right? From $57.60. I don't see it $50. I'm here for a long run. I'm here all the way to over $150, $200 a share. Um, I'm a long time NEO holder, so I'm not worried about $50, $60, but we have to go steps by steps and we have to know how the stocks is going to be performing it, right? So right now we have currently eight buys, one hold on the NEO. Uh, NEO is a strong buy potential price average of $60.79 and implying there's a 74% upside on the current price. So that was the news that came out today from one of the analysts from C uh, C Citigroup, Jeff Chung, uh, upgraded from NEO from... Uh, to buy from hold and raise the price of $58.30. 30, 30 um, so that's a good news that came out today also. So I'm eager to see how it's going to be act up today. Uh, we closed at $42.47 today. Oh my God, I'm excited. Let's pump and I'm pumped. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to see we how, how the buyers are coming in and testing it and the next level we need to keep an eye is $43.18 and then all the way to 46 once we break out 46 and then we're gonna I can see a potential pullback then before making higher highs all the way to $50 so my question is to you is that what's your plan what are you thinking about what do you want to do with the stock what do you what's your plan are you here for the short are you here for the long uh, you know it's totally dependent upon you what do you want to do this company has a lot of potential, a lot of growth on that. And on the technical side, you have you can see on my screen that it has tested once and twice and then shoot out, right? There was a rumor of a triple bottom. It didn't even touch, it didn't even conf gave us a confirmation of a triple bottom because we the lowest was at $31. So I knew this was a false broke, a breakout and I did mention in my video that it is a false breakout. And some people were not happy about it, but hey, based on the technical side, I knew it was is gonna come back and test the thirty dollars or thirty one dollars and should move all the way up high to the forty five and forty six before getting tested again. Remember the two key levels we need to figure out: forty three dollars eighteen and forty six uh, twenty. Uh, with all being said, everyone, feel free to subscribe, like, sm smash, comment on my video. I really, really appreciate you guys watching the video and stay strong. This stock is not going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. You guys are not going anywhere. We're here for the long run. Let's, that make, let's make some money and we will. Okay. So stay tuned for the next video and just keep an eye on the key levels that I talked about it today. Thank you, everyone.